Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. My name is Joanna Coles and this morning we're visiting with Dr. Nicole Gaucher. She's with the University of Kentucky Extension Plant Pathologist there. Good morning, Nicole. Good morning. Now, Nicole, today we're going to talk about tree wounds. A lot of people have been out in their yards more. They've been noticing things along their landscape and we've been getting a lot of calls about you know, what's going on with my tree and a lot of- Absolutely, and especially as the summer gets hotter and plants under stress are gonna show more uh, symptoms as a result of particularly wounds at the ground level that may have been there for years. Yeah, because a lot of times when they go out there, they're like, I don't remember running over that with the lawnmower. Talk a little bit about what happens when that tree is wounded. Okay, so now by wound, um, it can be any kind of damage, any kind of physical damage. Um, usually occurring at the ground level. So string trimmers, mower damage, anything from stakes or tree wrap that's not taken off, even barbed wire fence nailed to trees, any of those kinds of things are penetrating the bark. And the bark is the armor around a tree. So when we penetrate that bark, we open that bark up for moisture to get in, for fungal pathogens to get in, for insects to get in. Some of them pathogenic, some of them are more opportunistic. They would not have hurt that tree otherwise, but hey, I call it the all-you-can-eat buffet, right? You let it in, it's going to eat. We talked a little bit about fungi yesterday, and you know, if, if we have, we can see some fungi around a tree, but, but that's different, right? That's different. So if decomposing and pathogenic fungi come in, um, that they are actually rotting. So there are some wet rots and there are some dry rots. Um, that, that will infect a tree. Sometimes on that outer bark of that cambium, sometimes there'll be more of an inner, inner rot. But either way, remember we talked about yesterday that fungi always produce a fruiting structure or a reproductive uh, structure. Well, these rot fungi do as well. So you will see it when it's rainy or when temperatures cool off, like if we have a week of cloudy, maybe rainy weather, that fungus will decide to produce its reproductive structures. And that's when we'll see mushrooms or conch or bracket fungi that actually protrude out of the tree and usually around that wound, sometimes on the, the root flare or the trunk flare, sometimes higher up. And when we see those wounds, automatically people are like, what can I do? What can I do to reverse this? There is no reversing. Uh, so some old anecdotes that are not valid or painting it or filling it with cement or mortar, uh, filling it, some people use spray foam, none of that is going to help. Once that wound occurs, once fungi get in, that's it. There's no stopping it, there's no slowing it down. So we can expect that it will progress. Sometimes in minor cases, a really healthy tree can wall it off and it'll be really localized. But when you've got a rot happening in the trunk of a tree, that is the stability for that entire tree. So very dangerous in terms of large, heavy trees, especially if they're near driveways or play areas or your front porch. Yeah, and we get a lot of calls about that. You know, should I take this tree down? And you know, what what type of safety risk is this? But like you mentioned, unfortunately, it's just going to keep progressing. Either you know, we we can't really identify the rate because weather conditions, all those things play in stress. But it will be a safety issue one day. It will be a safety issue one day. So a young tree, I always take it out, cut your losses, plant another one. Um, because it's only going to get worse. If it's a large tree, really start thinking about taking it out, um, really watching it closely, especially if it's near um, where, where humans are. Um, and we have a publication, right, Nicole, about this? We do. We do. We have a tree wound publication, and uh, we have some examples of some of the, uh, the mushrooms and conchs and bracket fungi that you might see coming out of some of those trees. Sometimes we don't know there's a rot going on until we see those. So there's some examples of there too. Um, and we're not going to give you that risk factor um, just because, like you said, there's no way for us to know, but really um, to think about what's going on, to think about safety and to, to, to prevent this from happening from the start. Um, really take care of your trees. Keep string trimmers away. Mulch properly. Mulch wide. 
um, really protect your trees. They are priceless. All right. Well, Nicole, certainly, certainly appreciate the information today. And if you have questions, make sure to check out the publication or you can give us a call at your local extension office. Thanks for watching and have a great day.